Some of you remember what it was like when you had your first lead come in for your business. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to treat this like gold, <laughs> right? <laughs> I know 2020 is going to be a big chapter in your life's history because of what it was. But why can't 2021 be the year that you really took control? Now, by the way, I want to make this point. I'm not just talking to the people that are really struggling and they're trying to get going. Listen to me. There's some of you that have money in the bank account, your business is doing okay, and you can be the worst culprits. Because everyone in life likes to talk about the people that have the glass ceiling. Oh, it's the glass ceiling. I, you know, I just can't bust through it. Let me tell you something. If you have some money in the bank account or you've got a mortgage or money isn't really terribly massively important, listen to me. You have what I call a comfy mattress. You don't get shit done because if you don't, mah, you're okay still. Maybe your husband works, maybe your wife works, maybe you've got an inheritance, maybe you've paid off some bills earlier on, maybe you live very, very minimally, maybe you've made some great trades and you've made money this year from afterpay, right? <laughs> Whatever. You've got a comfy mattress. And some of you that have a comfy mattress, you wonder why you're not getting as far as you want to do? Because you haven't created a real reason beyond where you are. Because I got to tell you this, I had to do the same. I hit a point where I only thought I would ever be renting for my life. That was my goal, rent. That's how everyone grew up. Then I hit to a point where I got comfortable. Got comfortable, got fatter, chilled out more, stopped driving, Stop pushing. And I realized something. I realized that I wasn't living to the extent of what I knew I could do and I had to reset my life. So some of you, you might have a glass ceiling in fears, but I'll tell you this, some of you right now, I'll tell you this, you have a comfy mattress. And I'll remind you of how I, what I mean by that. Some of you remember what it was like when you had your first lead come in for your business. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna treat this like gold, <laughs> right? Then after a while, things start to change. You get a lead a week and a lead a day. You start to kind of, oh, things are happening now. Who remembers their first paycheck? I was paid like, I reckon I was earning about like 11, well, my first real paycheck. I got the cash in hand, you know, like we all do forever. But my first proper paycheck um, was like 11 something an hour. And I remember when I got this, I was like, wow. It was like, it was like, it was like I think it was like $400 for a fortnight or something. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much money. Had they made a mistake? You know, remember what happened, right? And then after a while, money in, money out. Money in, money out, money in, money out. Savings, this, this. It, it, it loses the edge. Ask yourself this question. Do you have a comfy mattress? Do you have a glass ceiling? If you had to, would you do more? If you had to, would you accept less bullshit in your life? Would you push yourself harder? Would you try more? Would you back yourself more? Is your stock rising? Question I always think about. If I was a stock on the share market, would I invest in me? Am I going up in value? Would you put all your money in you right now, every day? Would you pay you what you want to earn for what you produce every day?